This is the Yidi Vac. This might be the best robot vacuum under $200. Hi everyone, this is JD, your Gadget Review friend. Welcome, and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Are you in search of the best value self-mapping robot vacuum that is great and at the same time will not cost you that much? I know there are big competitions out there in the robot vacuum market. It is saturated with big brand names and startups, and it is part of the top 10 vacuum brands in the United States. That is pretty awesome. In a world of overpriced robot vacuums that don't meet your needs, you bring solutions through their advanced robotic vacuum technology. Their VAC series offers a range of options for modern homeowners who want an easier way to clean their living spaces. From self-emptying robot vacuums to hard floor cleaner vacuum mops, down to solution for a hairy cat with their pet hair vacuum cleaners. I know the robot vacuum competition is tough, but Yidi will deliver. I'm a tech reviewer and a full-time worker and this robot vacuum brings so much ease to my home cleaning workload. Today Yidi sent us this Yidi vac but as always, this will be an independent review of Gadget Rev now. We will unbox it, review it, and do a full demo. Let's go to work! Let's start with our quick unboxing. So on top you'll have the manual, the limited warranty, and the quick start guide. It's pretty easy to set this up, and I will discuss it later so you don't have to worry, but I still suggest you read this quick start guide. That's where I started. Just a tip, if this is your first time, this will help you in the setup process. Next is the vacuum robot that is covered in white cloth. The size and weight is okay, as expected of a vacuum robot. It also looks the same as any other robots. I like the color of the vacuum, the two-toned look. It actually feels expensive or looks expensive than what it's truly worth. We also have the charging cable for the docking station. We have the edge brush. There's also selling this part separately for maintenance, because eventually you need to replace this part in the future. And lastly, the small and cute docking station. They have different types of docking station. If you visit their website, it's under self-cleaning station. If you want to upgrade, that's even cooler and have more practical applications. And that's it for a quick unboxing. Let's set this up. The first step is to remove all the protection materials and install the edge brush. The second step is place the vacuum robot on the docking station. Always keep the docking station plugged in, otherwise the robot will not automatically return. The third step is to power it on, fully charge it before you first use it. It takes 4 hours to fully charge. While it's charging, download the Yidi app, search Yidi or scan the QR code to download the Yidi app. While the app is downloading, notice this part. This is a cutter and brush to clean the vacuum or to cut objects. Pretty handy. Next step is to add your robot in the Yidi app. Before the setup, disable mobile data usage on your phone and open W1 settings on your phone and switch the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. This cannot use Wi-Fi 5. Once you set it up completely, don't worry it is easy and there will be voice commands and step on the phone. Try to download the firmware updates to make sure the robot is updated. Just a tip on the first run, the robot will navigate and map out your home during the first run to successfully create a home map. Remember three things. Start ED when it's docked and fully charged. Second, avoid picking up and moving the robot during the cleaning. And third, let the robot return to the docking station by itself. You might also want to tidy up the floor, remove power cords or small objects that may entangle the robot. I just have a little bit of sentiments on some of the YouTube reviews I found for robot vacuums. You know, they're jamming the floors with charging cables. These are robot vacuums and not nannies. You have to help these robot vacuums and fix your clutters. But that's just me, you might have a different take on it. Let's talk about the biggest and the most efficient feature of EDVAC, the advanced visual mapping. The visual mapping and floor tracking sensor empowers the EDVAC to map out your floor faster and clean in neat rows. No more random bumping or missing the spots, like those cheap robot vacuums or even those with the same price as this. On my user experience, I found it reliable as it was able to map my floor plan accurately and every time I call a custom clean, it goes to the area where I asked it to be. This robot vacuum doesn't use LiDAR, but the mapping is still accurate. For $200 or less, you got a really smart vacuum robot that can map the floor and know where it is. 
I didn't experience any issue with the mapping or sensor. I only had an issue before when I accidentally pick it up during the cleaning and that's my fault. Leave the work to the robot and it will find its way home to the docking station. It was also accurate in finding the docking station. I rearranged it and the robot vacuum is still able to find the docking station. This robot can suck the dirt and clean the hard floors and carpets really well. I was really happy and satisfied with the suction power of this robot vacuum, one of the more powerful suckers out there. That's a bad joke. It has a whopping 3000 PA suction plus a side brush and a floating rolling brush loosen, sweep and suck the dirt from all surface and corners. It has 3 vacuum power, the standard which is also the quieter worker. I can do zoom calls without it interrupting the conversation. You have the max that sits in the middle for a more powerful suction. And the max plus perfect for hairy carpet. And the most noisy of all, it also drains the battery faster but it does the deep cleaning really well. Let's talk about other features for a more advanced work. It has advanced features like creating a cleaning schedule, whether you're sleeping, kids and dogs outside the house, or even work hours when you're not at home. It has voice reports that tell you what it's doing, and you can even find it in one click. Here and ready to start. And cleaning preference where you can resume cleaning, it will continue and finish cleaning once it's fully charged. Do not disturb that will turn off vacuum lights and speakers, and will not work during those times. The auto boost suction which will automatically detect carpet for a more powerful suction. Auto empty, if you purchase one of its self empty station, it will go back to the docking station and empty the dust bin. And the cleaning preference that will follow your presets when you're doing auto cleaning. You can even rename the vacuum. You can also change the name of the robot vacuum, I call this Indai. In Filipino, it's like a name of a nanny. One of the coolest thing about the Yidi vac is it's modular, one you can replace the aging and bad parts, and if you like to add parts or upgrade to a self-empty station for example, you can buy it separately. The parts are super affordable and will not break the bank. And lastly, the customized cleaning and maps. Once your floor was mapped, you can do custom cleaning on certain areas. You can also name the areas of your house. I have three, the living room, kitchen, and bathroom, and I can do scheduled cleaning on those areas the way I wanted it to. Again, because of the advanced visual mapping, there's no random cleaning. Everything is the power of your hands. And lastly, let's do a quick demo. Right now, I'm doing a full cleaning of the house. I notice it will clean the full area, and then it will start cleaning the corners. Very smart. Next, I called the robot vacuum to custom clean the middle of my kitchen after I finished eating. And lastly, I called the robot vacuum to clean my bathroom or powder room and it will sweep the whole bathroom area. The dustbin is easy to clean, while it's in recharge mode or off, just take out the dustbin and throw the dirt in your garbage bin, pretty easy and effortless. Starting charging. Please install dustbin. So why does Gadget Revenue's verdict? Is CD VAC worth it? Not because they sent me this product for review, I will say it's the best, but for the value and my first hand experience with Yidi Vac Robot Vacuum, this is hard to beat at $200. Do yourself a favor and do some research. For $200, you won't get a self-mapping 3000 PA suction modular with advanced teacher vacuum robot. With everything you get from it and possible parts addition in the future, this is the best robot vacuum under $200. And that's it. If you want to buy this, I will leave the link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.